Brooke, and I'm going to be taking you on a little adventure today. We're going to be visiting urban, suburban, and rural places. Here we go. We're here. This is downtown Madison. This is an urban area. You can see the capital right behind me. As we walk down State Street, you can see that the stores are very close together. You can also see that you could just walk to a grocery store or a restaurant or take a taxi or bus. Also in urban areas, there are many tall apartments and houses really close together, so there aren't any big yards. A lot of people live in urban areas. departments and government buildings, like the Capitol. Now it's time to head out of the urban and into the suburban areas. Suburban areas are located just outside of urban areas. Those who guessed that McFarland was a suburb, you're right! Most people drive from suburban areas to urban areas to work, like driving from McFarland to Madison. homes are more spread out than urban. They also have larger yards. We also have schools, fire departments, police departments, and government buildings in our suburban area. Now let's head off to the rural area. As we drive away from the suburban areas, we start to see the rural areas. As you can see, there's a lot of land with fewer houses. Many rural areas share hospitals and schools. I hope you have a better idea of what urban, suburban, and rural areas look like. Now let me leave you with this question. When you grow up, what area would you like to live in? 